Neonicotinoids are a new class of insecticides chemically related to nicotine. Since their development in the 80s and 90s by companies such as Bayer Crop Science and Syngenta, their popularity has skyrocketed to represent 24% of the global market for insecticides. Like nicotine, neonicotinoids act on certain kinds of receptors in the nerve synapse, which become overstimulated to a point where the receptors become blocked, causing paralysis and death. One of the appealing properties of neonicotinoids is that they are far more toxic to invertebrates, like insects, than they are to mammals, birds, and other higher organisms due to neonicotinoids binding stronger to insect neuron receptors than to ones on mammals. However, one of the biggest casualties from the use of this family of chemicals is bees. A dramatic rise in the number of annual beehive losses noticed around 2006 spurred interest in factors potentially affecting bee health. When first introduced, neonicotinoids were thought to have low toxicity to many insects. Previous research has shown that neonicotinoid insecticides have a detrimental effect on bees, resulting in impairments to foraging, learning, and memory in worker bees. But few studies have looked at the effects of neonicotinoids on the queen bees in particular, who are the mothers of most, if not all, bees in a beehive. A new study published by Wu Smart has revealed that the queen bees lay about one-third to two-thirds less than their normal egg production when exposed to varying levels of neonicotinoids, jeopardizing the health and stability of entire bee colonies. Queens being the only reproductive individual laying eggs in the colony results in subtle effects that aren't immediately noticeable, but translates to very dramatic consequences for the colony over time. The scientists also found that exposed colonies collected and stored less pollen than insecticide-free colonies and reduced their efficiency at removing mite-infested or diseased pupae from 95% in the unexposed colonies to just 74% in the exposed ones. These results are a strong indication that neonicotinoid insecticides are contributing to the global decline in bee population. But the new study also proposes that banning neonicotinoids is not the solution. Rather, it advocates for regulating insecticide-treated seeds the same way that sprays and other application techniques are regulated, and recommends that farmers be smart about when they conduct their aerial sprays, such as not doing it on windy days. In many cases, we want to figure out why these colonies are dwindling when they should be at their peak production. This important bit of research is providing some of that insight. It's not answering all of the questions, but it's definitely something to consider. If you have any other questions you would like us to tackle, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And until next time, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.